the general of the ANC, Comrade Gwede Mantashe, uh, provincial secretary of the party in the Northwest Province, uh, Comrade Madoda Sambata, provincial secretary of Kosatu in the Northwest Province and the leadership of Kosatu present, uh, provincial leadership of the ANC. Let me also greet the provincial secretary of the party in the Free State, Comrade uh, Charles Tofile, uh, Comrade Keba, National Committee member of the YCL and members of the National Committee of the YCL present, uh, the provincial secretary of the YCL, Comrade Pabazzo, and members of the provincial committee present. Uh, comrades, leadership of the YCL, the party, ANC Kosatu and Youth League present, let me greet you on behalf of the YCL as this, uh, at this very important and auspicious know, opportunity celebration of the 24th anniversary of the death of Comrade Chris Hani. Uh, you see, Comrade SG, when we say as the YCL that uh, we want to make education fashionable, uh, we lead by example. Uh, Comrade Keba here, who is a national committee member, just recently graduated with a master's degree in town planning. Uh, she's a, a graduate. That's how we make education fashionable. It's not free education, Amandla, no. We want to lead by example young people like Comrade Keba, leadership of the YCL, uh, today have master's degrees. We're very proud of them. Comrades, one of the roles of leadership is to identify and acknowledge challenges and to provide a clear and comprehensive plan to address those challenges. Now, Let's provide, uh, let, me, let me give you a definition of leadership from a working class medical parole officer during World War I. He defined leadership as the capacity to frame plans that will succeed and the faculty to persuade others to carry out those plans in the face of all difficulties, even death. That is but one definition of leadership provided for by a working class medical parole officer. Comrade Kisani was a leader, not just of the SACP, not just of the ANC, but of society. He had the capacity to frame plans that will succeed and the faculty to persuade others to carry out those plans even in the face of death. He paid the ultimate price for his selfless, visionary and courageous leadership when he was brutally assassinated in 1993. And as the YCL, we will continue to advocate for the opening of the inquiry into the assassination of Comrade Chris Hani so that the details of the truth can finally be revealed to society in its totality. Comrades, we are faced with a society with many challenges. Our state currently is in decay. But we must provide the necessary leadership to rescue our state and our society. Let us not swim in the longest river that is denial. Let us not be a nation of professors who look for new dead ends in every corner of the world. We must be leaders in action, not abstract idealists always theorizing. I think, Comrade Madoda, that if Comrade Kisari was alive today, he would have joined the YCL, he would have joined the Northwest Province and proudly declared that socialism is the present, not the future. SACP, take state power and bring us socialism. Yeah. And we must salute, we must salute the Northwest Province led by Comrade Madoda for taking a very progressive resolution that the party must seriously co consider contesting state power to the ballot in the national general election of 2019. And in the spirit of constructive engagement, we are willing to also persuade other provinces, Comrade Stofile, such as the Free State, to join us in taking forward this resolution. But we are also we are working with the assumption and we believe it's the correct assumption that we have a responsibility to play in assisting the ANC to address and to self-correct and rid itself of gatekeeping, of crippling factionalism and unrestrained corruption within its ranks. But as we take this dual responsibility, the YCL has resolved at its last Congress 
that the party should contest state power as part of its responsibility of leading the national democratic revolution as the most viable route to socialism. And, and therefore, by implementing a socialist developmental path, it will be the only path that we believe that will be able to address the production and reproduction of poverty, inequality, unemployment and underdevelopment. Our position is an ideological one, it's not an opportunistic position. It is meant to address the systemic issues that we face in society today. And it's only a socialist state led by the SACP that can implement a socialist developmental path that seeks to transform the economic base of our country. If a branch of the ANC does not want to listen to society and correct its mistakes, then we will have no choice as the vanguard party of the working class in society to listen to society and contest state power independently to the ballot. If a district of the ANC does not want to listen to society and correct its mistakes, then we will have no choice but to take leadership of the NDR and lead society as the SACP. If the ANC as an organization does not want to listen to society and correct its mistakes, then we will have no choice, comrades, but to lead a new front for change. And we are raising these, is these issues, comrade SG, comrade Guede, because we want to assist you as the SG to sharply, honestly, and accurately raise these issues and uh, deal with them. Because we know it's not going to be easy, especially for you. But rest assured that as the YCR, we are there for you as to ensure that we address these issues for the benefit of the organization and society. And we think that more than any time in history, Comrade Chris would have raised the issue of socialism today. Socialism today, comrades, not tomorrow. And he would have gone further to explain and remind us as the chair so eloquently did that socialism is not about these big concepts or even theory. It's about, as the chair said, Decent shelter for all our people, education for all, a life of dignity for the old, etc. And as long as the economy is dominated by an unelected privilege for, of a few, with the case for socialism will always exist. So what then, comrades, is the best way to honor the life and times of Comrade Chris Hanna? Before I, I, ad I address some of these issues, comrades, we cannot advance popular people's power without a strong and united Kosatu. State power and popular people's power are two sides of the same coin. We need a class conscious working class that will be able to liberate itself because even if the party acquires state power, it will not be able to liberate the working class. The working class will liberate itself. But this requires a united progressive working class formation. And we are deeply concerned about the large number of our affiliates who are not in good standing. But what is more concerning for us as the YCL is the inconsistency and mixed messages from the leadership of Kusatu. Uh, we are worried, Comrade Madoda, about some bipolarism that Kusatu is suffering from that we don't know about as the YCL. Uh, whatever the issues are, we maintain that it's of the utmost importance that COSATU unites behind a co coherent program to end corruption and deepen and advance and consolidate the NDR. And as the YCL, we will take the responsibility ourselves by assisting COSATU to develop a strategy for youth mobilization and political education in the workplace. Many of our youth forums of, the, of COSATU affiliates are assisting young people with class consciousness and political education. And we'll continue to work together with, with, with COSATU affiliates. And we must really commend all our COSATU affiliates for ensuring that youth platforms, youth forums are established. We must work tireless, tirelessly to defeat workerism in COSATU because workerism is anti-communist. And we must, we've taken the responsibility as the YCL to engage FAO, to engage NUM, NUMSA, and to unite the mighty federation to build popular people's power for socialism. That we believe 
is the best way to honor Comrade Chris Hani. We should honor him by decommodifying land and transforming the property relations to fully realize the ideal enshrined in the Freedom Charter, that the land shall be shared amongst those who work it. Yes, we have made progress on the land question, but much more needs to be done. The YCL has called for the speedy implementation of the land tax to you be used to skill our people, not for land to be used for parties and caucuses, but for land to be used productively. We should honor Comrade Chris by decommodifying education and higher education and implementing the policy resolution of the ANC that free higher education should be provided for all the sons and daughters of the poor. We hope that the new Minister of Finance, Comrade Malusi Kikaba, will consider reallocating more government budget towards the provision of free higher education for the poor. We don't agree, uh, Comrade SG, of the sentiments shared by our sister organization, the Youth League, of identifying a particular member of a collective every time the issue of higher education is raised in society. It can't be convenient that we, always, that we relate to collective leadership and collective responsibility on all issues, but when it comes to the issue of higher education, it's one member of the collective who must account. It can't be right. If we are an organization that subscribes to collective leadership and collective responsibility, then the collective must take responsibility in government of implementing an ANC resolution on the provision of free higher education for the poor. It can't be that at all times it's the GS or the party, Comrade Blade in Zimbabwe, who must account on issues of higher education. That's where we, do, we disagree with our sister organization, the ANC Youth League. But unlike reactionary opportunistic forces in society, we are not calling uh, G, uh, Comrade SG for a nuclear energy program to be scrapped. No. We need nuclear energy. But as the YCL, we argue that if nuclear energy is feasible, then free high education for the poor is equally feasible. <laughs> if government can budget one trillion rand for the nuclear energy, then government can equally budget for free, quality, compulsory education for the poor. That is our position as the YCL, and we are going to engage government constructively to ensure that we receive free, free education for the poor. Comrades, we should honor Comrade Chris by providing decent quality houses for each and every poor household in need. We should honor Comrade Chris by providing safe drinking water for all our citizens. We should honor him by ensuring that no person goes to bed on a hungry stomach. We should honor Comrade Chris with socialism in our lifetime. Mandla! Mandla! Forward to state power! Forward! Forward to state power! Forward! Forward to socialism! Forward! Mandla! Thank you, comrades. Mata, Carona, Viva Pop Cru Viva. Viva, Viva Satao Viva. Viva. Uh, comrades, uh, the, the next speaker has been introduced to us. Uh, all what we need is for him to ascend to the podium and address us. Amanda! Wobatina Sobaba! Wobatina Sobaba!
Amanda, uh, program director, comrade Naji. Go you open the window? Go open your window. Go open the window. Yeah. Okay. Program director. Um. Bongo chonya na ba koyo apa. Family agua ani. Bongo chonya na ngaba agua ani mos. No ba ongo abu sabale ni. Masikoni pi family. Uh, Ingo kiles koyo apa leadership of our alliance partners. The ANC ke mos yamba nam yon. Uh, the alliance partners, the communist party, the COSA, to the SANG, the allies at us. Then I need to dispute a land. Mm. PC, ANC, uh, original leadership, ANC, COYOP, the AMBANAM, the MENUE, the ally to the communist party. The Communist Party could go along my up. Yeah, my dog. Who's on the song? Who's Stofield? Stofield is here to assist my dog. Provincial Secretary of the Free State. Um, he leads us to be a league's comrades. I'm not about the Allah, he's a veterans league, oh mama. Women's league, youth league. Bonga Bubandu by Menue UICL. I'm glad. He lives Menue UICL. Kogolongo Yash now. Leaders of the various denominations of religion. Leaders of various sectors of society. People. We left everything to come to be here today. All of you. If you're not here, even all these leaders were here, this elector wouldn't be a success. I want to start with uh, describing something called polemics. Polemics is polarized discussions. And the polemics have the time, uh, they appear to be left in orientation, but they are hollow in content. That's the problem with polemics. Because we fight over something that we don't have, need to fight over. Where we need, don't need to fight, we must reinforce each other. Uh, this month, April, is the month of Christmas and Comrades. The month of Christmas, April. 
equally is the freedom man. Hmm? Chris died in April. Freedom was acquired in April the following year. We'll come back to that. Um, it is a month for reflection, not for sulking. So it's a month for reflection. It is the month that was declared as the month of Mapoho Mahato uh, in the year of the centenary of the ANC. April was the month of Mapoho Mahato. We live in a method alone, I'm reminding you. Uh, it is the year of Oliver Tam and the year of unity in action. The one of my daughter, Sudanani member of PCP. Such a slogan, Pastor Unity in Action, and to Tuka Husira Limtual. Justice to foe and friend. Eh? That is justice to foe and friend. Unity in action, comrades, is about comrades appreciating that disagreement doesn't make them enemies. It forces them to reach out for each other. Um, when I was the general secretary of the NUM, I did many things. Me, I come back and tell you. One day, I'm a comrade, go to this comrade and another comrade don't speak to each other. They're so angry with each other that they don't speak. They're not in speaking terms. I organized a 1.3 Toyota Corolla with no aircon. I put them in that car and sent them to Namakwanet. <laughs> By the time they reached Kimberley, they were asking each other, can we buy a drink for you, comrades? <laughs> that is what is required now. That is what is required now. I'm a comrade who create artificial enemies within the movement must be forced to work with those artificial enemies because they are not their enemies. There's no enemy in the movement. Now, Chris appreciated that. That's why this is the year for unity in action. That we are citing all of this can cause us to deliver a number of lectures. So I'm giving you ideas. You can organize various lecture, lectures about this because as we talk about these leaders, it is not about a biography. It is about leadership lessons we can derive, derive from them. Ukrisani, comrade, is a man who was a member and a leader of all the alliance components, all of them, equally. When he was elected into the NEC of the NEC, he was the youngest member of the NEC. In the party, he was in the Central Committee and ended up being the general center of the party. In Umkondo we seize. He was in the command structure, second in command. Kondo we seize. Now, this is the man who was. It is clear you can, you can follow Chris. He contributed in building and strengthening all the alliance partners, including the trade union movement, by the way. Including the trade union movement. Now, that is a person who was a unifying figure rather than a divisive figure. Now, his contribution therefore, comrade, and the memorial letter being delivered here, must be about the life of this man and lessons that we can derive from him. Uh, as we tell the life, that life story, but there is a question that we must ask an answer. And that question is
if Chris was alive, how would you feel and react to the state of the movement today? I want to describe the state of the movement briefly. Because that question is important in the sense that our movement, comrades, our movement today is internally fractious. Now, fractious, I'm sure, Kutu Alando Mine Masters, fractious. It's internally fractious. It is fragmented. It is in small pieces that are fighting each other. Internally focused, can't see the enemy coming. The alliance is totally incoherent and divided. The alliance is divided, comrades. We can pretend here we die, alliance uh, it demand is it's divided. Uh, our voices as a movement, the movement is not the ANC, it's when we are together. We only become a movement when we are together and our togetherness determine the capacity to mobilize society on our part. The voice of the movement, comrade, is inaudible. It is inaudible. It's a data proof. God was as a vagali. Because our voice is sung in the cacophony of noise made by opposition forces. And some of it comes from our historic allies. Now, we are being challenged not on the basis of inferiority of our policies, but on the basis of exploiting the mistakes that we commit. don't know if you understand this difference. There is no organization in South Africa that can challenge this movement on the basis of superiority of policies. Aiko, Aiko. Our policies are correct, our policies are superior, our policies cannot be challenged, but what we do, we create space for enemies to attack us, exploiting our own mistakes. That is what we should discuss and correct, comrades. You can look at anything that divides us, you'll find a good, it's a mistake, it's an own goal. Own goal. I want to own goal, the problem here in a costly game. <laughs> Abandon the sundowns, why I ask you? With the own goal in a costly match, then who call to up or I mean in trouble or habitat yet. So he own goals is the basis for us being challenged. That is what we must spend our time and energy correcting. Could I cover it? Let's minimize the mistake we're committing. A problem here to come it. When we commit these mistakes, we get into a denial mode. And we go and tell and take platform and say, yeah, there's a mistake, so what? It's a it, it problem here alone, come that's where in masses will be confused is because if you show a middle finger to the masses, you are not going to go back to them tomorrow and say, please come here. Because yesterday you were showing a middle figure to the same masses, but go to hell, we don't care about you, and so forth. You can't do that. You can't show a middle finger to the masses and expect them to come back. And Chris understood that very well. 
When we say Chris was an embodiment of the Alliance, we acknowledge that he was loyal and invested time and energy in building each Alliance component, dedicated his life to fighting for freedom for all South Africans. He left the country complete to an unknown world of exile. As a young graduate, many people don't talk about this. It's a very important point that when Chris left here, he was already a graduate, majoring in English and Latin, prospects of developing a career in law or teaching or anything were, were great. He gave all that up and left for exile because he loved freedom for others not for himself. <laughs> now, having arrived there, you see the ANC, very dynamic movement, comrade. We can say many things today. The ANC, Latvig, and so forth and so forth. I will give you just a simple example of what led to the Morogoro Conference so that you appreciate Uguti. ANC, from time to time, it runs into trouble with itself. <laughs> And it recovers. <laughs> it recovers. Immediately they discover what we should work together to recover. <laughs> That's the only thing that works in the NC. Now, when the NC is in trouble, I never accept a situation that says the NC is in trouble. There must be Chinese. There may be new life out of it. If we sing it, we are killing it, it will be dead will organize the date of the funeral. I don't subscribe to that theory. <laughs> I don't subscribe to that. I am a great believer that the ANC must be strengthened, must be built, it must be revived, it must be unified. Comrades who divide it must be confronted and be engaged. Now, in exile, the ANC, young, young uh, graduates like Chris, we're given an option of going to school because there was this idea that we'll go, come back, take over power, we must have capacity to run the state. Eh? But Chris chose not to go to any furthering of studies. He chose to go for military training because he thought that that was the easiest way of going ahead and confront the enemy. That was Chris. And that's why, comrade, that it is his determination that qualified him to be one of the pioneers who were in the Wangi campaign. Wangi campaign was a joint campaign with, Z with, Z with, Z with Zapu to open the way back home. It is, it is a twin called Spolino campaign. It's a twin. It was Spolino. Chris was in the Wangi one. The one again. One of the commanders on the enemy forces said to those who were arrested, Chris was arrested in Botswana, he escaped and, and arrested in Botswana, but they were arrested in Zimbabwe, some of them. And one time he said, hey, you are quite a formidable force. You are quite a formidable force, but you are not going to win this war because information about you reaches the enemy before you arrive. That talks to infiltration of a movement that is glorious like ours. Because we are no longer screening anybody. But we have come here not with the intention of building it. As they come, they come with the intention of destroying it. And they stay with us, we hug them because we're taught to hug hyenas if need be, if there is forward mobility. So, as hyenas, as it's gone up as Ambanat, we hug them, we try to nudge them not to delay us, they must accompany us. That is what we do. And yes, I want the party to 
unpack that concept. Okay, because that is also a concept that Chris always articulated. We would sometimes you had hyenas uh, for forward mobility. You see? Okay, the party must give the ideological content of that concept. Uguti, we're not going to be together because command. We're going to be together when it is nice. We're going to be together when it is difficult. We're going to be together when we are betrayed. When we are betrayed, we're going to be together when we are betrayed. Obanamos, Sisutu is my second language. Obanamos is Sisutu. The next person in the town is going to be called Sabapio. 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 Meaning that is the ultimate level of betrayal. Because you are stabbing somebody on the kidneys. And you can't stab anybody on the kidneys unless you are close enough. That is betrayal. Now, it cannot happen with the Communist Party, doesn't understand that in the struggle for freedom, you will be betrayed. And how would you be betrayed who commit suicide? No. You must get out of the situation of betrayal mobilize society and take the revolution forward. So, I'm saying this, my daughter, as a member of the Communist Party, who is very cautious about this thing of state power, and the party, and, and the party that walks away from the ANC, Ibeyodo. I'm very cautious about that thing. Actually, I'm nervous about it. You know why I'm, I'm nervous about it? I'm nervous about it because it sounds revolutionary, it sounds left, but the net effect of it is that we divide our electorate base and split it into the party and the ANC and both of us will lose power. That's my theory. But I'm not breaking any uh, commitment. I'm telling the Secretary General of the ANC today. So I have a right to disagree with the party. Eh? <laughs> when I get when I get to the party structures, put a low resolution, I'm that mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the whole, yeah. That's one thing that I'm trained in. To actually own up decision of a structure I'm part of. I own it. Even if I disagree, I, I own it up and actually articulate it. Uh, very strongly, as if it's my idea. Then, that I know that it's not going to work. But here is a solution. And I communicate it and I articulate it. I will do that with the party because I will know Uguti, a divided base of the movement will translate into both the party and the NC losing power. So, and take the longest road to state power. Okay? of state power. We throw it away and hope to discover something new. Take a long road, bring it. That's my conception. You know, in, 19, in, in 2007, when this debate was opened in the party, in the Port Elizabeth Conference, Subsequent to that, COPE was formed. And we said, breaking away of the party will have a bigger impact than the COPE. That's what we said. And I'm still convinced that is correct. But I wonder when the attentions, when the polemics, when we feel betrayed, Sometimes you get agitated and take decisions emotionally, but they don't make political sense. They make emotional sense. But I'm angry. I'm walking away. You know? I've been for 39 years. 
a nice experience of divorce, my daughter. Eh? Nice man. But in the end of divorce, in the element of emotional decision, you walk away, you think I said that, but hey man, but hey, my daughter. No, pa. it's not as bad as I felt then. <laughs> I can theorize it, I have no experience of it. So, so if the party delivers a divorce, a divorce papers on the ANC, very emotional, uh, the other partner, the ANC will accept the divorce papers, but the net effect is that we're both weak. ANC without the party comrade. I know about the ANC, but I don't know about the ANC. The ANC doesn't need the party any longer. The party in your sense. I'm not one of those people, comrade. I know what the Communist Party is not a nuisance. We need it so that we become an activist and the ideological content and theory. I am a revolution that is not theorized. <laughs> what kind of a revolution is this that we will not theorize? No, may I be? This big national liberation movement, Masih Dabe, will theorize somewhere. Doesn't work with me. That's why, comrade, um, my daughter, somebody said I attacked the party in Umtata yesterday. I didn't attack the party in Umtata. I said, I don't want to see a party just a platform with the enemy. That's not an attack on the party. It's a reality. If the party is sharing the platform with the enemies of the ANC, because the party is irritated by Jacob Zuma, society is going to be confused, comrades. Society is going to be confused. We must debate the question of what we're irritated by this action by the president of the ANC. It may be the SG of the ANC. It may be anybody else. The party has a responsibility. And I can tell you, Christian will not run away from that responsibility. No. He will not. <laughs> no. If he would not, let's talk about Murogoro a bit. When he returned from the Wangi campaign, Ukris, with six other companies, signed what is called today the Ani Memorandum. It was signed by six comrades, but debated by a big number of soldiers of whom Kondo was Led debate is adding to the work of a commission that was set up by the, ally, by the, ally, by the Congress Alliance Partners. ANC, uh, the Kalev People's Congress, the Indian Congress, they went together. Remember, comrade, because ANC is taken for granted, should not be taken for granted. Up to that point, ANC was an organization for Africans. That's why when members of the ANC become mischievous, we born a question here, racism emerged from within. I'm a comrade, I want to know, a fun by the ANC by Africa. Because the commission discovered four things. The first one was the way of electing leaders to post-1959. What is significant about this year, 1959, is that it was the last conference legal here. The next conference was held in Lobati, in Botswana, in 1962. And the ANC, Island in Egelon, from Island in Egelon, then go to election of leadership post 1959. You know why? Because the ANC was constituted because there were no conferences of the ANC. It's one of the problems that was identified. The second one was the failure of leadership to provide a comprehensive, concrete framework for waging the struggle for freedom. Sounds similar to this one. The leader should be Icogenid. The center does not hold. Sounds very similar. You know point? Thirdly was factionalism. Factionalism was the third. And the fourth one 
was the non-membership of non-Africans to the ANC. Let me move on to the question. It raises issues about the soldiers' failure to debrief after the encounter and what it is described as having accelerated the process to the convening of the Morocco Consultative Conference. Now, now take that and, and, and appreciate the fact that going to this conference it is accelerated. I don't know if many communists know that Chris was not part of the Morocco Conference. Yeah? He wrote the memorandum, he's accelerated the process, but he was not in the Morocco Conference with Chris. Because there was suggestion of court marshalling him. Tambo refused. Oliver Tambo refused. Eh? So what about it? Cosmal Tessalinke is a military uh, justice system. Uh, we have a good firing squad. We are court martial. Tambo refused now. And the history of Mogoro is documented. But I am encouraging Aban Bakut because we have a Go and Google a political report of Oliver Tambo to that conference. Only when you have read that political report of Oliver Tambo will you understand his strategy and tactics. If you have a report, you read his strategy and tactics, there was no Oscar Pezu. Because in the political report, Utambo asked specific questions that were pointed. That translated into the studies and techniques as a response to that. Now, contribution got Chris. Chris, Uchonyan. Now, for 1993, he get assassinated, 10th April. Some of us, we found him lying there. Okay. Because that's not a good box back. Eh? Oh, the, there is Chris, who lying, is lying there. To go. Um, I'll be to you, man. Atama boo. Nega, the one of us, I read both left literature and right-wing literature. Yes, eh? I do that. I read all of them, including the book by Ellen Zilsen, if you need. And I know why factions in the Ghana and I know now. Yes, yes. It gave my nieces in the Ghana and my nieces in the Ghana. It is a South Africa, a Susu Zuma, and a Mawaka Secret Ballot. About Teddy or Ellen Zill, or the colonialization and colonialism was good. But the flag, they were not focusing on that as well, so that the global market was from Ellen Zill and Quebec. I don't know how many of you know, because you don't read the opposition literature. Who would the Uteral court, Uteral Akuna? His party, after he cope, top, top, more than 70% of his members have declared the vote of no confidence on him. He's still leading that party because he owns it. Yeah. That's the difference between the ANC and these opposition forces. And we get exaggerated to put in our in trouble because we don't exploit each trouble that opposition force are in. Now, now we are free from it and we take things for granted. To a point of ourselves as activists of the movement, may you see, 
when the Communist Party almost verbalized the Nugut in the three years, nothing has happened. Kuchoban the ANC, Kuchoban the Communist Party publicly, 23 years, I went to I grew up in a place called Kala. Abanga is a city in the Eastern Cape. It's on the foot of the Tigersberg Mountain. It's on the snow belt. When I grew up there, I started the pass metric there, Dana, using a self-made a lamp. That's a lamp for the lap. Photos of the lamp clean, I have a light on that. I grew up there. And I used that, I passed metric. All of a sudden, when I go to Kala now, every village has electricity. But I have the, 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 the guards to come up and stand up here and say, I went to Kala and there's nothing, nothing is happening. But the progress, that is radical. I want to get, yes, I want to talk about this radical economic transform, which is the second phase of the transition. I agree with the party, okay, holy, Uguti. The first phase itself was, revo was radical. Let me explain why I say so. But I can't see you, light is bright up. Let me tell you, take this thing of the enemy being duped into handing over political power when it is not at its weakest. When the prospects of military defeat were minimal. Order, but that is over the power. That is radical, comrade. That is radical. We access the state power. That is radical. The thing that I'm talking about electricity in Ghana is actually 11 8 delivery services to our people. Whether it is electricity or water, or, or education that you're talking about. Uh, and, uh, yes, education. In 1994, there were 150,000 black kids at university. Today, there are over 850,000. That is radical. That is radical. Many of those kids, I must say university, Ngabo Araba translator into what we call the black middle class balance in South Africa. Because we produce young professionals from households that never dreamt of ever producing an, a, 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 a graduate. Or a people, graduate. I'm not proud. 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 I'm but out of those families today, they are graduates. That is radical. I'm not talking theory, the abstract theory of radical. What was it? Change. There's change. There's change. And I can feel it, I can touch it. All of us. Live with what is in their individual grievances, with individual grievances, but it changed. We can feel it. Thank to Christ who gave up his life for us to be free. Who then is going to move on? Why can't we thank Christ? Christ gave up his life, he paid the ultimate price for us to be free. The one of today. They want to go on in my job, they want to make it up. Would you ever think I'm going to make an eye counsel? Is that my name? 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 And I'm not there's no change. There's a lot of change. And that change is radical. Who's in the head is a counsel? Please, comrades. Please. 
who Chris put up his life for us to be free. We are free. The boy has to stay power yesterday as Siskangelai. See now, so we have it, but we don't know how to use it. That's it. Now you go out and look for it. And look. Don't look for it. It's here. It's there. It's here. It's here. It's state power. It's never state power. Now, if we want to honor our Chris comrade, we must fight factionalism. Factionalism divides. It destroys. And effectionalism kills an organization. The one that I'm going to say is the corruption and looting. Who's the one? It's a lethal combination because powerful factions use a loot to destroy other factions. If a organization has been the record, I'm appealing to all of us, wherever we are, let's try to make our small contribution in fighting effectionalism. Now, effectionalism must come to many factions. We don't talk policy, we don't talk future, we don't talk anything, we talk names. 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 We talk we stand it. A band who want to be president, all of them think that they can be president of the incident. So stand it, Moses. Oh, yes, they are not of it. Oh, yes, they Stand it. Look at the ANC song. We are 105 years old. A management of succession. Then, so when I result, comrade. It's a regret because we'll get what I, what I call accidental leadership succession. First was the president by accident. <laughs> and we must live with it, with that president. We must live with that president. You know why? Because comrades who want to wave the ideology are moving away. If we better get them to part of yes, you know? I want to leak out the house and leak out this. And the one, he experienced him and he has hope. Every communist used to be a member of the ANC. And any communist ever member of the ANC is a half communist, in my definition. Now, as members of the ANC who have gone to the working class, Party, a revolutionary party, even God party. I believe even God rule a bungo up. They want to go away. Oh, but the national liberation movement has become reactionary. And the world of the liberation movement is reactionary. Three of the fingers are pointing at you, Guti. Where were you as an ideologue? When the liberation movement became reactionary, where are you? The Il liberation movement becomes reactionary. It's called an opposite boom. Where were we when that liberation movement became reactionary? As me and then Palmer said, silly battles, pa. Let's get it. I'm encouraging you. Come, come, come. Let's get in there. Let's fight our battles. And game because it's painful, it's just brutal. And when I can go, so we can do the state caps. We are born with we were drifting towards the mafia state. It clear in the signs. For the rest of the year, conferences. We are physical victims. I'm not The state is on your case. We are land and we are not young up, young up. The state is staying up as well. That is a mafia state. The state is a land and when. when you are active in politics. Now, if we use the state to destroy each other, if we never see us come to go to, so now we are going to destroy our own, we are destroy our own. Because in mafia state, I did. 
it is this one, it goes to the next, goes to the next, goes to the next. One was by the time we have to send Spelina song, we need to have the mafia state. And go to Yahoo, who are Republican. They investigate for 10 years, they never discover it. And when I discover it, if the state's involved, it's a mafia state. So I'm appealing to communist good. I understand the land of good thing. Who Chris community? Some honorary and the unit of the movement. Okay, unit of the movement. See a good conference, good December. We discuss in leadership in the unashamedly. So what a community. See, discuss unashamedly. It's all we make our contribution, we get to leaders being see, a solid. Ubangaba we go to that conference, we elect the leadership. That sends a message that says, I Aluta continua. That was a Luta continua. Looting continues. <laughs> now, now. We lose society, comment. We want to lose society. Society is strong and one other, but for men, these are men, people. Then we'll be excited, we need a conference in 2017, lose power in 2019. It's a real conference. It's not an imagination. When this society restless goes wrong, whoever thought that Ungadwala is trying to mobilize the opposition forces? We never thought of it. It happens. How do we react to it? We react to it by insulting them. Instead of going back there, you don't insult the masses, you go back to them, Ubabuis. That's the work that is facing us now. So, even comrade, you see, you know, in Mangaung, we said lobby openly, and in such a in my house, I'm going to go to the location. You don't know what you're going to do. Why are you going to go to Why? If you're going to go to the when you lobby, atheists allowed you to lobby. Open, if you leave. The location is convinced that the community is going to be a big one. The people who are going the ANC has allowed you to do so, it's resolved by conference. Well, we don't let the runners in the woman. The one who's a runner in the gay man is our confusion and don't get coil forever because he has a band. He pounded the clock in. Now, and therefore, comrade. I think it is important to appreciate the one that is telling you about radical economic transformation. First, I complicate it, I don't see this as long as it. Radical economic transformation means the majority of South Africans must have access to ownership and control of the economy. And the state must facilitate that. Simple terms to me. Now, I want to get because the fractional up. Uh, and I know I'm going to social media. I'm going to go to social media. I'm going to go to social media. How fractionalism makes us stop thinking? In monopoly capital, my army, I have a city dilute. In the next posting, say it. So and so is too rich, but they subani, but man, by part of white monopoly capital. Every contradiction that you must dilute white monopoly capital. Those who are diluting it are rejected by us. They are part of white monopoly capital. They are part of the capital. resources. In the gay ownership, here mines the Anglo-American supply escort. 
a nigger black consortium. Oh, my dear, about Sandy Zongo, about Tebe, and so forth. By that, about that majority state, where's our minds? All on your value, Denmark, and so forth. Instead of being excited that there is a black mining company which is a champion, by part of white monopoly capital, let us get economic transformation to do it. The majority must have access to ownership and control of the economy. I'm going to confuse the one by the way. I'm going to go to the full target to do it. We change it to finish it by Nemalin is therefore we part of white monopoly capital. Flazit, if I see it, I knew it. And if you don't tell me, I'm not going to let it go to transformation. It's not for the Christmas. I'm going to articulate as if who go for the Christmas will destroy wealth, will distribute wealth. I don't go for the Christmas. Entrepreneurs will emerge out of you, it's not making space to grow. That's what it is. I go up, is about Lizard is Jay, Ali, Koyu Liz, and Apina. Welcome to business person. I see the one business person, I'm a working class, so Sabanza, pa. But you don't see John getting as part of radical government transformation, see John getting over single focus with GDP, see John getting national income. Who by distributing and Jana, in national income. When you begin to add that part, you are also talking about the working people, who by the access, the national income of the country. Because the majority of people are working people, as a businessman. So, I think, comrade, Obama was full of honest to Christ, we must be honest to ourselves. It is honesty. I look at the one of us. Gold by my dad, I buy him a post on social media. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Responding to what I'm doing. I'm so bad that I on a book. I don't mind that. Um service we go, we must multiply our efforts of talking to the people. We must multiply. We must get out there, talk to our people, explain things and explain concepts to them. Ukrizan is one of the few leaders in Zazium now also when you go with him to the rural areas. I had to the back back backyard villages. Talk to the people. Don't talk to the people when they are two thousand only. Talk to the people when they are ten. Talk to the people when they are five. Talk to the people when they are two hundred. Talk to the people when they are two thousand. Talk to the people when they are many. Okay. Uba Naba, you think that you can only address big gatherings. You don't understand what we're in. Talk to the churches. Leave this year. Ubula pastor. Ubula pastor. Here this year. Talk to the pastors about the country, the future. Everyone. Sir, lay right because. Now, what pastor of Navaka to one like his abandoning yoga? Navaka. I'm going to go to the Baiso. So, Navaka. And so, comrade program director, that is what I think we should do if we want to honor comrade Chris. You know, I don't know if comrade remember when he died, he was leading a campaign called Triple H. Dealing with hunger, homelessness, and health. Eh? Triple H. That was the campaign that Chris was leading when he died. And those are the basic needs of people, comrades. And if you want to honor him, let's take campaigns on those issues. Eh? I take campaigns on those issues. I want my good myself access to this. Thing. What again? Where you have access to a small piece of land, use it. When one more land, pace is very slow, my daughter. Yeah, land distribution is very slow. Uh, where I don't know whether 
the expropriation without compensation is the solution. An unqualified teacher. Could I must get started in Kama Swobe? Swobe. I've been to Zimbabwe five times. I went to the villages, saw the land program, and I love it. The only thing that I resent about it is that it has destroyed food production there. Totally. Zimbabwe imports everything. That's the only part that I think we should look at. How to ensure that we redistribute land, we don't starve with land. Uh, I want to stop at that and say every communist cater to the front. Okay, every communist cater to the front. That's my last words. And goes. Sir, Matla, I and those were live visuals from Boxburg at the annual Chris Hani lecture. Various speakers urging South Africans to take matters of ethical leadership seriously and also that various constituencies need to come together to fight for better and equal rights in education as well as in our economy. The speakers urge that we mustn't forget what kind of principles Chris Hani stood for and fought for. Well, that's where we leave it uh, today with the news. I'll see you again tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm Alicia Jali here on the ACBC News. It's goodbye.